Hello everyone, uh, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video on Apache Scoop. The topic for the today's video is conditional import. Uh, so I have already have uh, let you know that how we can import the data from the RDBMS to the uh, STFS. But today uh, we, I'll let you know that how we can do the conditional import because sometimes what happen is that we don't want to uh, uh, don't want entire data of the table. We only want some of the columns or some of the rows. We can achieve this with the three arguments listed in front of you, where, columns, and query. So I'll be performing the three arguments one by one in front of you so that you can learn how we can uh, achieve this. So let's start with this. Uh, for this, I've already made a table. The table name is cust cust under the database e1 and this is the table records. So I'll be performing the three operations on this table only, right? For this, uh, I've already opened the new terminal. The first operation is where. Where is uh, like equivalent to the SQL where, where we can define our condition. So let's, uh, let, uh, let me do it for you. The first thing is where. Okay. Yes. Uh, I've already have written the query. So you can see in the front of you that um, everything is same. We have the uh, scoop import connect uh, JDBC string bind directory username password table name tr target DIR and one thing I have mentioned here is where the where meaning is the condition. In which case, in this case, what we have to do is we need to specify the double colon where space in the double quote specify your condition as I'm just looking for the name Amrit. So because it is a string, I'm uh, enclosing in a single quotes, but the entire condition should be in the double quotes. So simply now press enter here to check the results. Press enter. It'll take little time. Okay, you can see that we have retrieved one record. Why one record? Because there was only a single row which contained the Amrit. So let me verify by going to the desktop because on the desktop this was available. So you can see only one because against Amrit we were only having a one record one. So this marks the uh, successful uh, execution of the where clause. So second one is we have to specify is columns. Sometimes what happens is that we don't want to um, uh, don't want uh, entire um, columns to be uh, imported. We only want specific column to be imported. For this, we can use columns keyword, right? Okay, let me show you that one as well. Columns, yes. Okay. So in this case, again, everything is same. The one thing which I've added at the last is this thing. Hyphen hyphen columns space in the in the double quote specify the column which you want to import, right? Okay, so let's everything is same. So let me uh, like uh, run this. And in this case, the folder is ABC9, the target directory. The rest, everything is same. Just wait and watch. Okay, so we have got some error here. Exception in key value, okay. Let me run it again to check whether this is the okay. But we already existing. Let me change it to five. Okay, now it's fine. You can see that uh, we have retrieved three records because uh, ID table, ID column, sorry, contain three records, one, two, three. Let me check it out now whether it is available. It was ABC5 and you can see one, two, three. So this marks the uh, execution of the uh, columns. Okay, so I hope it is fine so far. The last one is query. In the query clause, you can specify your condition the way you have did in the uh, regular SQL, right? Where you, like you write a normal query, select star from table and this and that. You can write whatever you want in this third one, the query. Okay, I can show you here. Fine. So uh, in this case, now everything is same. The scoop, import, connect, bind directory, username. But one thing which I have uh, changed it here, just to uh, keep it different, I'm now using P capital P because I don't want, let's suppose if you don't want to disclose your password you can use it a capital P in a so then when you run this command the password will be asked from you then you can fill it so that no one can see what's your password is other other change which I made here is this one the last thing which we have a query 
this is the keyword hyphen hyphen query and you can specify your query in the, in the double quotes so what I want is I want to uh, like print only those rows which is having ID more than two so this is a regular query of SQL select star from cursed where ID greater than two okay one thing more I want to state here is you can see uh, that there is no table uh, 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 argument available uh, because straight away after bind directory we have specified username and there is a password but there is no table name because table name has been specified here okay so the query will not take table name twice that's the reason uh, there's no table available here I'm just specifying the table name here only and one thing we need to add is this is as per documentation of scoop whenever you're using the query keyword you have to specify this and conditions right so this is the keyword uh, kind of thing so don't worry this you need to add okay whatever the query is so um, uh, this is the query I'm only looking for the uh, records which is uh, which is having ID more than two although we know that there's only one record more than two which is three so let me run this for you and now you can see now password has been asked from me and I'm just putting my password one two three and just wait for the result here it, it, it will uh, give you just a one record you can see retreat one record and let me take you to the desktop uh, the ABC 11 is the particular thing so you can see now the three Raku because there's only one record on only one tuple which is having ID more than two I hope uh, you must have understood this uh, the where columns and query in case you are if you're failing to uh, do it uh, fail to do any of the query let me know uh, I hope you must have understood the topic uh, Thanks for watching and see you next video.